I'm out in the outskirts of Canberra at Tidbin Villa Nature Reserve tonight looking for brush-tailed rock wallabies. The ACT government is part of the National Recovery Program for the wallabies and they do a fantastic job breeding them and contributing to a safe future for them. And I'm going to spend the night with the rangers trapping them and uh, checking their health and seeing... This is Shadow, born here at Ted Binbilla. He's one of only 80 southern brush-tailed rock wallabies left in the world. This is Lily. She's a yellow-footed rock wallaby, also endangered, and she's a surrogate mother and carries the babies for the southern brush-tailed rock wallabies. Lily just has the most amazing eyes. Most of the rock wallabies at Tidbin Villa are out in the bush, thriving in fenced areas protected from feral cats and foxes. Trapping them isn't easy, but I had rangers Kim and Leith and ecologist Tony from Parks ACT to show me how it was done. Brush-tailed rock wallaby feet look like those of the gruffalo, I reckon. And their tail reminds me of a giant bottle brush. We found two joeys during the night of trapping and that was an immensely satisfying feeling to see and discover two new members of this species. Kim told me that most kangaroos and wallabies have their toenails on the bottom of their feet, but rock wallabies have them on the top so that they don't slip or damage themselves when they're jumping around on the rocks. It's remarkable how our animals have evolved. The biggest highlight, of course, was watching them jump back off into the bushes in the night.